Hello and welcome back to our series on the fruit of the Spirit. I'm very excited for this one because this is often one that is misunderstood or even ignored, I could say, and it happens to be one of my favorite of all. I call this the beautiful fruit. We've talked about love, joy, and peace, and primarily how it relates to our relationship with God, and now we're dealing with the people around us, long-suffering. We're not long-suffering toward God. God is always good and is gracious and is kind and is faithful to us, but people are not always that way. People are not always kind and gracious and patient with us, so we suffer long. But then, as important as that is, as equally as important is this next fruit, which again, I think is misunderstood. I call it the beautiful fruit of gentleness. Gentleness. And see, the problem is people see gentleness like, does that mean like I'm supposed to treat people with care like they're fragile? Do Like am I, when I go into a china shop, I'm not supposed to break something or um, if I hold a baby, I make sure I don't drop it. Is that, is that what the fruit of the spirit is, gentleness? No. Uh, which that's also a good thing, yes, yeah, be gentle with stuff if it says fragile, but that's not what the Holy Spirit is talking about here. To describe it in the easiest way possible, and the way for you to remember, is gentleness is simply this. It is being intentionally kind. It is having intentional compassion. It is being a person who goes out of their way to be gracious to others. You see, when Jesus Christ went about his ministry, people were astonished, not just at the miracles and the things that he did, but it says in the scripture that they marveled at the gracious words that he spoke unto them. Why is that so important? Uh, is every single person they ever talked to mean, and Jesus Christ was the only nice person? Well, no, but they honestly weren't used to it. You see, where they would usually get their doctrine, their theology, was from the Pharisees who always went to the law, and the law was harsh. The law was unforgiving. The law was unyielding and unbending. It was absolute. And they always fell short of the law. So Pharisees would read the law and basically say, you're a terrible person, amen, let's go eat. <laughs> that, that was their church service. So it was either uncertainty or cruelty. That's what the Pharisees always taught from the scriptures. This is the law. You don't stack up. I do because I'm great. But you don't stack up and uh, you can go and feel, so, you feel bad about yourself now. But when Jesus Christ stood and read the law and said he fulfilled the law, they marveled why? Because of the gracious words that he spoke unto them. They weren't used to that. Remember, when Jesus Christ went about his ministry, children flocked to him. Why? Because of gentleness. Because this man, this son of God, was someone who was approachable. Are you an approachable person? Children were comfortable enough to sit on his lap and he could preach a sermon. They were comfortable around him because they knew this was a merciful and kind and gracious person. Now, it doesn't mean you have to be the Pied Piper and children follow you around everywhere you go. It doesn't, doesn't mean that. But what it means is what kind of person do you exude when others are around you? Do people feel comfortable in approaching you? That if I needed help, or even more importantly, if I needed to know the gospel, if I needed to know about Jesus Christ, that person looks like someone I could talk to. That person radiates gentleness. They will not deal with me harshly. They will not yell at me. They will not turn a hard eye or a stern look toward me. You know, David, a man after God's own heart, the Bible said, was of a lovely countenance. What does that mean? He was a gentle soul. Again, it doesn't mean, you know, David also slaughtered people, so it doesn't mean he was a wimp. <laughs> but what it means is in the Lord, he had an intentional kindness, an intentional compassion for others. And Jesus Christ is our greatest example. The simple question I want to ask you today, is this fruit growing in your heart? You may not understand it. What does it mean to be gentle? It simply means if someone were to approach you, would you treat them with kindness? Would you treat them with mercy and grace or a hard look, a stone wall? Some people think, well, that's just the way I am. Well, guess what? The way you are isn't right. 
In us dwelleth no good thing. We are to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ, who was and is a gentle person. He has the spirit of gentleness. Pray that this fruit grows in your heart. Ask yourself, am I someone that people would come to? That people know I would be gracious to them? You cannot emulate Jesus Christ. You cannot serve Jesus Christ, and you cannot grow the fruits of the Spirit without this. So I hope this is a blessing to you, and God bless, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.